We'll be tying the surf candy. One of the flies I'm like it from shore fishing. This is a fly, a streamer fly, meant to be fished for striped bass. So in your kit, you will have a Daichi hook that is really, really strong. And the point is extremely sharp. Actually, th these are my favorite saltwater hook ever. You will have white thread, uni six hot. You will have polar fiber in both white and black. And you will have flashabu holographic. Finally, a pair of eye for every six flies that you will be tying. Our first step will be to take the white polar fiber. And actually, it is uh, supposed to do six flies in this kit, but I believe with the patch that we gave to you, you can tie up to easily, easily, easily 10 flies. So polar fiber, I am making my tail with it. This is a, sh a short shank hook, so we won't be uh, calculating the length of hook that we put in the tail. Uh, we will be simply uh, doing it using common sense. Actually, just you know, have a look at the sand lens and uh, figure it out yourself. It will be roughly 10 centimeters long, maybe. This is a small small bait fish, a thin bait fish that is actually really really popular on the east coast and everywhere else uh, in fact because sandlands are primary the base of uh, a whole look a whole lot of fish diet around the world second step you take your holographic flashaboo you will put it right here so it will be a part of the tail, but you can see how long these trends are. Actually, we'll be using it. You do two or three turns up front and then you fold it back. And this way you can use it as a tin cell to do your body. And this body will really, really glow in the water. It will really shine, in fact. You trim off the excess. Next part, actually, if you keep your waist, you will probably tie two or three other streamer with uh, the same flashable. Next step, black polar fiber. These flies are, are really, really fast to tie, actually. Uh, they tie up quickly. They fish really, really well. So, once you get used, the longest part of, the uh, of these fly would be to do the head with the UV resin or the epoxy. But the fish are great, man. You, you will forget this step when you will be on the water. I tie the wing of my fly facing up front. And this will actually help me to build my body. You trim off the excess right here. And you can do actually your nut with a whip finisher or your finger right here. And we won't be using any actually a uh, head cement because we will be using UV resin. If you are using five minute epoxy, it is fine. It works really, really well. It is just longer. So for the purpose of the video, I prefer to use UV resin. So I put a first layer in the body and I fold my polar fiber back. And the goal of doing this is to actually have the UV fiber, the UV uh, resin to soak in my body. 
second I will finish to soak the polar fiber completely with UV resin. And what I'm doing here is I, I would be the, doing the same actually with 5 minute epoxy. I would only do it on a long term period of time. So I would put a first layer uh, that will soak my polar fiber. Then I will wait for it to be dry. Then I will put my eyes and put a second layer of epoxy on it. So you can see the body is already taking shape. And you can see how flashy the belly on this fly is. Next step, the eye. I will put a drop of UV resin on top. I will come with a little sticky eye. I will make sure it is properly placed before I hit it with light then to the other way I use my first eye as a template for my second one so I want it to be of course both of my eyes straight at the same place it look good so Last layer would simply be to coat the eye and to make sure that my body is slim. It's really uh, a long last body. So I, I try to start by adding layer by layer, you know, uh, on the top of it, then on the belly, then on the side. Doing it step by step actually help your UV resin to cure really well. And it will give you a really smooth finish, which you want. So you can see the fly is starting to take shape. And actually UV resin, once you it is dry, you know, you can touch it touch it it takes 15 seconds and it is ready to fish so this is a big advantage of using UV over uh, over the traditional epoxy but both are really solid product both really work well and then our last last step Then the fly will be complete. Actually, this fly fishes flawless. It, it just it fish really, really good. It looked just like a sand lens, and sand lens are the most effective prey, in my opinion, on a, any saltwater fishery. Really. So the fly is finished. That was a surf candy using the fly assembly kit from Shore Fishing.